Hello, welcome. Let's solve this problem together. So here they say the residual plots for two different sets of bivariate data are graphed below. So bivariate data is data that relates to two different variables, x and y. And uh, residual has to do with usually some type of uh, fit to fit your data. It seems here that graph A, you see how these plots of residual are scattered around? And graph B has this kind of almost parabolic pattern. That tells me that the answer is graph A, because what you need is a random scattering of points. And you can actually say that in your answer here. If you're saying that graph A is a better fit, you can say it's a better fit because that the residuals are more of a random, um, are, are scattered in a random pattern, whereas graph B has a distinct U-shape, which means uh, very specifically that if you try to draw a line, it's, it's showing you that not only is the line not a good choice for a fit, but that your actual data is non-linear. I'll show you what I mean. So if you have a scatter plot like this, if you try to draw a line of best fit, you would try to draw a line between as many, or as close to as many points as possible. And the residuals measure how far above and below each point is from the line. If it's on the line, the residual, like, like here, will be zero. So all these points here are above the line, all these points are below, and it tells me your line of best fit is going between them. And it should be somewhat random because the data is somewhat random. If it's a real world scenario, you get some randomness in there, some scattering. But you can get this kind of a curve here in a situation like this. Let's say you have a graph, x and y, and let's say the, the dots are like this. They're in like a, a, a parabola. If you try and draw a line, through it. What actually happens is kind of cool is that the distances and the residuals, if you measure all of them and set them up, if you just look at these distances and I'm drawing here, these lines, see how they're below, really far below, and it gets closer, and then it actually goes up, 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 and then down. Look at that shape of the residuals, it matches this right here. It shows you that if you try to draw a line for a pattern that's clearly a parabola or quadratic, you'll get this kind of a U-shape here and it tells you it's not a good fit. So in short, graph A is the better answer. It's a good fit because the points are scattered um, in a somewhat random pattern above and below the line. All right, thanks.